today we are going to learn the last method of solving higher order differential equations that is method of variation of parameters this is special method as it is used for only second order linear differential equations in the previous class i have told how to solve the higher order differential equations of different orders in the previous class we have learned that we have to find out two parts for every question of higher order in the first part we have to find out complementary function and the second part we have to find out the particular integral and the method of finding out the particular integral will differ from the the value of q of x on right hand side of higher order differential equations but here in this the the special method that is method of variation of parameters it can be used for whatever q of x it is more specifically this method is used for second order linear differential equations so we will go to the method of how to find the solutions by using method of variation of parameters method of variation of parameters enables us to find the solutions of second and higher order differential equations with constant coefficients as well as variable coefficients now the procedure of finding out the solutions by using method of variation of parameters can be as follows first we have to reduce the given equation in the form of the general form that is d square y by dx square plus p of x p into dy by dx plus q into y is equal to f of x where p and q are constants as in this unit we are referring the higher order differential equations with constant coefficients only so we are taking the constant coefficients there may be variables also now the first thing we have to do is we have to find out the complementary function of the given equation to this we have to reduce the given equation to into standard form the standard form is just nothing but f of d into y is equal to q of x this is a standard form and how to write the auxiliary equation that all we have discussed in the previous sections now the auxiliary equation is given by f of m is equal to 0 and this is the auxiliary equation so after writing the auxiliary equation we have to solve the auxiliary equation for roots as we are taking the second order differential equations we will get maximum two roots only so first we have to find out the roots and based on the type of the root that we have got we can write the complementary function if the roots are real and distinct then it will be c1 e to the power of x plus c2 e to the power of i mean say c1 e to the power of alpha x plus c2 e to the power of beta x and that and other types when the roots are real and uh, repeated or complex and uh, distinct and complex and repeated all those methods we have discussed in the last class that is how to find the complementary functions for different type of higher order differential equations now the first after finding out the complementary function now we the it can be written as complementary function is equal to c1 into y1 plus c2 into y2 suppose i have alpha and beta are the roots suppose i have alpha and beta are the roots then the complementary function is equal to c1 e to the power of alpha x plus c2 e to the power of beta x okay and this e power alpha x is y1 function and this e power beta x is y2 function that's what he is referring here c1 c1 y1 plus c2 y2 okay after getting these two values that is y1 and y2 
then we have to go to find out the ron scheme function now how to find out the ron scheme function the ron ron scheme function can be given as it is denoted by w and which is a matrix determinant of the functions and its derivatives i'll repeat it's a matrix determinant of functions that is we have whatever you got here y1 and y2 and their derivatives okay and it may be a constant or it may be a variable it may be a constant or it may be a variable so after finding out this ron scheme function the next step of method of variation of parameters is computing u1 and u2 and u1 is given by minus integral y2 into f of x where f of x is the this uh, value whatever he has given in the question into d of x and u2 is equal to integral of y1 into f of x by w into d of x Now, after getting this u1 and u2 value, you have to move to find out the particular integral. Okay, the first case of finding out the complementary function in the particular integral is common here also, but the way that you find out the particular integral will be differ different for the method of variation of parameters, and this is applicable for all type of functions. Whereas in the previous question, previous uh, methods, there are specific methods of where q of x is uh, applicable for only e power x, and it is uh, sometimes the q of x should be sin x and cos x or x to the power of n psi. Like that, but here this can be used for what type of uh, every uh, uh, all type of uh, functions for f of x. So after finding out the integral part uh, u1 and u2, then you have to go to find out the particular integral. The particular integral can be given as u1 y1 plus u2 y2, and this have to be added for the complementary function whatever you have we have got in the first step. and the particular integral plus complementary function both is added to give the the complete solution of the given higher order differential equations okay i'll repeat once again for the first first we have to write the general the solution i mean given so equation Uh, of higher order differential equation in general form in general form always remember that you should maintain one here okay if suppose you have any variable over there then you divide throughout with that variable so that you maintain a constant uh, coefficient for the higher derivative and after writing in the standard form then try to recognize p q and f values then after recognizing the p q and f then try to find out the complementary function by putting the auxiliary equation now the complementary function is given by as c1 into y1 plus c2 into y2 and this is confirmed as we are referring for only second order differential equations then after finding out this uh, complementary function try to uh, identify y1 and y2 then find out the ron scheme constant or ron scheme function and it's just nothing but the matrix determinant of y1 and y2 with its derivatives that is y1 dash and y2 dash then out after finding out the determinant of 2 into 2 matrix which is a ron scheme constant you represent that value with w then you try to compute the values of u1 and u2 where u1 is equal to minus integral of y2 into f of x by w and u2 is equal to integral of y1 into f of x by w into d of x so the particular integral is given by u1 into y1 plus u2 into y2 so the complete solution of the given differential equation by method of variation of parameters is given by cf which we got in the first step and the particular integral which we got by this method and add these two to get the general solution of the given higher order i mean second order differential equations okay note more method is commonly used to solve second order differential equations but it can be applicable it can be extended to solve the differential equations of higher orders but to our syllabus we are restricted for only second order differential equations we'll go with one example solve the differential equation d square y by dx square plus y is equal to cosecant x i'll repeat solve the differential equations d square y by dx square plus y is equal to cosecant x using method of variation of parameters 
okay and you can identify that here the f of x value is cosecant x okay so the best method of finding out the solutions when you have cosecant x or cot x or tan x or secant x or e power e power x so on so forth or uh, this is nothing but the variation of parameters i'll repeat one once again for cot x or uh, e power e power x or uh, secant x or tan x if suppose f of x bears this type of functions then this method of variation of parameters is the best method of finding out the solution for higher order differential equations okay so the given equation is d, uh, d square y by dx square plus y is equal to cosecant x the first thing we have to write it we have to reduce it in the standard form what is the standard form the standard form is f of d into y is equal to q of x the standard the form of the general form of the higher order differential equation now after writing f of d into y is equal to q of x now f of d is equal to d square plus 1 write the auxiliary equation m square plus 1 is equal to 0 m is equal to plus r minus i which are purely imaginary we don't have any real part here so we have only the imaginary part here so write the try to write the complementary function for this uh, uh, roots that is plus i and minus i and all these procedure which we have and uh, we have already discussed in the previous class how to give the complementary function based on the same knowledge the, uh, the complementary function for plus and minus i is written as c1 cos x plus c2 sin x okay and uh, of course into e to e to the power of 0 x as a real part is 0 and e anything to the power of 0 is 1 so there is no need to write here now i have two values that is cos x and sin x i will represent cos x as y1 and sin x as y2 then y1 is equal to cos x and y2 is equal to sin x. Then the next step of the method of variation of parameters is we have to find out the Ronskin constant. The Ronskin constant is given by y1, y2, the matrix determinant of y1 dash and y2 dash. And y1 is cos x and y2 is sin x and y1 dash is minus sin x and y2 dash is cos x. The matrix determinant is nothing but the cos, the cos uh, square x minus of minus sin square x okay so this is nothing but cos square x plus sin square x is equal to always equal to 1 so i got 1 as a ron skin value now now the next step is that we are, i am going to find out the u1 value u1 is equal to minus integral of y2 into f of x by w into d of x and which is equal to minus integral of sin x into cosecant x into dx and cosecant x can be written as 1 by sin x okay so this sin x and this sin x will get cancelled so integral of 1 is nothing but uh, x and minus is carried in front of that that is the value of u1 which is minus x now going to the u2 value integral of y1 into f of x by w into d, d of x where w is nothing but the wrong scheme value so integral of cos x into cosecant x into dx again the cos x can be written as 1 by sin x so cos x by sin x is nothing but co cot x okay so integral of cot x into dx and which is equal to log of mod sin x so this is how i can give the value of u1 and u2 and all the values which are uh, which are required for the general solution are ready with me i have my complementary function and also the particular integral with me now the next step is i have just to have to add these two to get the uh, general solution now particular integral is equal to u1 into y1 plus u2 into y2 which is equal to minus x cos x plus sin x into log mod sin x now the complete solution is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral and which is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus co x cos x plus sin log mod sin x this is how we can give easily the solution of whatever the function you have in the left uh, f of x and this problem become, becomes critical when the when the integral part is in, uh, com, uh, com, uh, it's very complicated that is uh, by while finding out u1 and u2 value there itself uh, i think uh, you, sometimes you won't get easy integral functions okay 
Now let's go for the next equation. Solve the differential equation d square minus 2d plus 1 into y is equal to e of x, e to the power of x, sorry, and using the method of variation of parameters. Now the auxiliary equation is m square minus 2m plus 1. Other words, how, how to find out the auxiliary equation? Already the given question is in the standard form. Wherever d is there, you try to substitute m. So you are going to get it as f of m is equal to 0 is nothing but the auxiliary equation. So, I have uh, uh, taken this to find out the auxiliary equation. Now, I have two roots which are repeated, real and repeated roots, 1 comma 1. The complementary function is c1 plus c2x into e power x and which can be written as c1 e power x plus c2x e power x and because why we have wrote x to the power of 0 because they are repeated roots. I have said in previous uh, uh, sections that the it uh, when repeated roots are there the x will the power x will be increasing from term by term. So uh, now I have two values e power x and x e power x. So y1 and y2 values. Now the next step is that you have to find out the Ronsky function that is y1, uh, y2 that is matrix determinant of y1, y2 and y1 dash and y2 dash and which is equal to the matrix determinant of e power x, x e power x, e power x, x e power x plus 1. How we have I got it? Now let's see y2 is equal to what, uh, what I have e power x. So what is uh, y2 dash? Now you have to file, follow the u into v rule that is x is can, x is as it is derivative of e power x is e power x plus e power x is as it is and derivative of uh, uh, x is 1. So it just nothing but we are following u into v rule okay the product of uh, the that is a derivative of uh, the product of two functions that you are following here. So, so that's how we got this value and take the matrix determinant that is x into e power 2x plus e power 2x minus x into e power 2x. So e power 2x x e power 2x both will get cancelled giving the value. I'll repeat once again the matrix determinant is x into e power uh, 2x okay plus e power 2x e power 2x minus uh, x uh, minus x into minus x into e power 2x so these two will get cancelled so this will give you the value that is e power 2x so that's how i got the ronskin function so immediately after finding out the ronskin value you have to go to find out the value of u1 and u2 how to give the u1 and u2 you have said there's a standard formula for finding out the u1 and u2 just to follow that formula that is u1 is equal to integral of uh, y2 into f of x by w where all these three values are known here y2 is already known from the complementary function, f is already given in the question and w is we have find out the Ronskin constant. You just substitute all these values x into e power x into e power x by e power 2x. So e power 2x by e power 2x both will get cancelled here. Okay both will get cancelled in there. So, we are left out with minus integral of x and minus integral of x is nothing but minus x square by 2. That's how you get the value of u1 and u2 is equal to integral of y1 into f, f of x by w into d of x and which is equal to e power x into e power x by e power 2x and here also we will get all the will get can cancelled and integral of 1 is nothing but x. So, I got the x value. So, two values are ready with me that is u1 and u2. Uh, so, just I uh, will substitute this in the particular uh, solution to get the uh, to find the, the general solution which is uh, for the next step uh, in the next slide now the particular integral is equal to u1 into y1 plus u2 into y2 and um, which is equal to minus x square by 2 into e power x plus x square into e power x and which is equal to x square by 2 into e power x so the complete solution is complementary function plus particular integral and which can be written as c1 plus c2x into e power x plus x square by 2 into e power x. Now let's go for the next equation. Here we will take so, uh, a complicated f of x so the, because till now we are getting we are taking only single function we have got very easily. So we will test one question a uh, complicated that is a product of two function how to find out the method of uh, solution by using the method of variation of parameters. Now 
the solve the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 4 into y is equal to x into sin 2x using method of variation of parameters and the, the auxiliary equation is d square plus 4 into y is equal to x sin 2x so the auxiliary equation is given by m square plus 4 is equal to 0 m is equal to plus r minus 2y now the now we have the the uh, the roots are imaginary roots so you the only imaginary roots that's a complementary function and these are imaginary and distinct roots because plus 2i and minus 2i two roots are there so c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x where so cos 2x is nothing but y1 sin 2x is nothing but y2 so y1 is equal to cos 2x and y2 is nothing but sin 2x and the Ronskin value is given by y1 y, uh, the matrix determinant of y1 y, uh, y2 and uh, that is y1 dash and y2 dash now uh, find out the derivative of cos 2x and sin 2x cos 2x is minus 2 sin 2x and sin 2x is 2 cos 2x so that's what i wrote here and uh, what i'm going to get multiply these two okay so you are going to get 2 cos square 2x plus okay y plus minus into minus plus okay so 2 sin square 2x this is how we are going to get okay so which is nothing but 2 into 1 which is nothing but 2 so that is how we can write the uh, uh, give the wrong scheme function now u1 and u2 now u1 is equal to integral of y2 into f of x by w into d of x which is equal to minus half into integral of x into sin square 2x and sin square 2x can be written as 1 minus cos 4x okay as sin sin 2 uh, just you expand it because we uh, directly sin square x we can't find out the integral so it has to be changed so the which is equal to a minus 1 by 4 integral of x into 1 minus cos 4x into dx now finding out this uh, integral part I'm, I'm getting minus 1 by 4 x square by 2 minus x into sine 4x by 4 minus 1 into minus cos 4x by 16 which is equal to minus x square by 8 plus x into sine 4x by 16 plus cos 4x by 64. Similarly you try to find out y2 value y1 into f, uh, f by w into dx which is equal to half into integral of x sine 2x cos 2x sin 2x and cos 2x so you multiply and divide with 2 and 2 so 2 sin theta cos theta which is equal to sin 2 theta so where theta is nothing but 2x once again so sin 4x so 1 by 4 x sin 4x into dx so again you find out the integral part 1 by 4 x into minus cos 4x by 4 minus 1 into minus sin 4x by 16 so which is the nothing but minus x cos 4x by 16 plus sin 4x by 64 add these two that is in the particular integral that is u1 y1 plus u2 y2 so cos 2x into minus x square by 8 plus x sin 4x by 16 plus cos 4x by 64 plus sin 2, 2x into minus x cos 4x by 16 plus sin 4x by 64 is a particular uh, integral now the complementary function you just add the particular integral and the, uh, the the particular integral which i got it in the least form that is uh, x by 16 after adding all cos t, uh, 2x and sin 2x and taking common uh, so i got the least form of particular integral add with the given uh, that which we got the complementary function that is c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x so x plus x by 16 sin 2x by 1 by uh, 64 cos 2x minus x square by 8 into cos 2x is a solution for this type of equation now let's go for the next equation solve the differential equation d square minus d minus 2 into y is equal to e power e power x plus 3x okay here then the as as it is uh, the we are going to find the complementary function the first at first the complementary function is just uh, obtained by replacing capital d with m so m square minus m uh, minus 2 is equal to 0 i got two real and distinct roots i wrote the complementary function c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x so c1 into y1 plus c2 into y2 so y1 is nothing but e power minus x and y2 is nothing but e power 2x so the wrong scheme function is given by the matrix determinant of y1 into y2 by y1 dash into y2 dash and which is equal to e power x 
into e power 2x e minus e power x and e2 e power 2x. So, the wrong, the, uh, for, try to find out the matrix determinant. So, you are going to get it as 3 e power 3x uh, in 3 e power x. Now, u1 is equal to as usually minus integral of y2 into f of x. y2 is nothing but e power 2x. So, the f of x is e power e power x plus 3x by 3 e power x. So, add um, the, try to open this. Okay, e power 2x into e power e power x into e power 3x by 3 e power 3x. And you can solve this by substitution method by assuming e power x is equal to t. If you assume e power x is equal to t, so differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, d by dx of e power x is equal to d by dx of t and it can be uh, uh, differentiating both sides. So, we are going to get it as e power x into dx is equal to t into e power, d, I mean t into dt. D, 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 d. Similarly, you try to find out the u1 value also uh, by converting uh, converting to t. So, uh, 1 by minus 1 by 3 integral of t cube e to the power of t dt minus 1 by 3 t cube e power t minus 3 t square into e power t plus 6 t into e power t minus 6 into e power t. Elaborately, if I do the integral part, I got like this and u1 is equal to minus e power e power x but after converting t in term because t is the that we have assumed we write it as e power t wherever t is there to get the actual solution so e power e power x by 3 into e power 3x minus 3 into e power 2x plus 6 into e power x minus 6 is a u1 value in the same method you try to find out the u2 value u2 value is integral of y1 into f of x by w into d of x. Now, y1 is nothing but e power x and y2 is and f of x is nothing but e power e power x plus 3x by 3 into e power x and which is equal to e power minus x into e power e power x into e power 3x by 3 into e power x. Okay, into dx and with uh, into 1 by 3 into integral of e power x into e power e power x into dx and which can which I got the value as e to the power of e to the power of x by 3. Now, the particular integral is u1 into uh, u1 into y1 plus u2 into y2 so all the values you got u1 and uh, u2 value whatever you got you try to substitute here and y1 and y2 already we have got it in the previous section and in previous slide substitute all those values to get the final answer that is e power e power x by 3 into 3 into e power x minus 6 plus 6 into e power minus 3x. So, the complete solution is given by complementary function plus particular integral and which is equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x plus e power e power x by 3 into 3 into e power x minus 6 plus 6 into e power minus x. This is how we can find out uh, the, by using method of variation of parameters. The next question, given that but, uh, given that y1 is equal to x and y2 is equal to my, uh, 1 by x are two linearly independent solutions. Here in this question, he already he is giving the y1 and y2 half the way. That is, there is no need to find out the, uh, the co um, complementary function because he has already given it. So, the solutions of uh, x square, uh, solutions of x square d square y by dx square plus x into d y by dx minus y which is equal to x which is x is not equal to 0. Find the particular integral and the general solution using method of variation of parameters and here the, so the question is uh, nothing but the higher order differential equations with uh, variable coefficients. Now let us see how to find out. First we have to rewrite the given question. Divide throughout because uh, when you want to uh, apply the method of variation of pa parameters the coefficient of the higher order should be always equal to 1. That is why I have to divide first with respect to x square. So d square y by dx x square plus 1 by x into dy by dx minus 1 by x square into y is equal to 1 by x. Now, already has given y1 and y2 value. Uh, actually, in the previous questions, we got y1 and y2 by solving the auxiliary equations. But here, there is no need but in the question itself, he has given so, the directly I will go and write the complementary function and I will try to find out the Ronskin function. x, uh, that is uh, x here, uh, determinant of x into 1 by x uh, 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 and uh, x dash, that is derivative of uh, x is nothing but 1 and derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So, again the cross multiply here to get the value that is minus 2 by x. So, what is the Ronskin value? Minus 2 by x is the Ronskin value. 
so i'll uh, try to find out uh, the particular integral by using this uh, ron skin function uh, that is uh, u1 and u2 u1 and u2 the same standard formulas minus uh, integral of y2 into f of x by w into d of x and y2 is 1 by x f of x is 1 by x into f of x that is x by 2 so i'll i'll just uh, the value is uh, the integral value is very simple integral of 1 by x which is equal to log x and u2 is equal to y2 into f of x by w into d of x and which is equal to minus integral of x into 1 by x into x square by 2 so x x will get cancelled here x x will get cancelled here x by 2 and 1 by 2 is taken common and the integral of x is x square by 2 so we will get in the form of 1, 1 by 2 into x by 2 which is equal to i mean x square by 2 which is equal to x square by 4 that's what i got the value here of course the minus is followed okay so minus is follow now the particular integral is u1 into y1 plus u2 into y2 so x by 2 into log x minus x by 4 the complete solution is given by the complementary function plus particular integral as usually the complementary function is uh, c1 into y1 y1 is e as given as uh, x plus c2 into y2 y2 e as given as 1 by x plus x by x by 2 into log x minus x by 4 this is how we can find out the so, solutions of second order differential equations by using method of variation of parameters i'll repeat once again first you have to write read out the given the equation in the form or in the general form and uh, identify uh, the values and uh, uh, and find out the um, uh, first you try to find out the complementary function then you try to find out the ron skin value then the particular integral add complementary function and the particular integral will get the solution by using method of variation of parameters thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates